Hey guys, it's me, Veronica. It is day, it's week three of Weight Watchers. Got my little handy dandy success story. And I lost 0.6 pounds. I am now 218. I'm close to my weight loss goal for the March, which is 2015. I said I wanted to lose five pounds. So if I lose another I lost two, I lost 1.4, and then I lost 0. 0.6 this week. If I can lose an additional five pounds, and sweet awesome. It was, this, this week has not been good for me. This week has not been good because of several different things that have been happening. I, I was a lot more strict on myself to this week than I was last week. Last week, I was like, oh, let me go. You know, I was eating a lot of different foods and I said, okay, you know, I maybe went over my points, but that's okay. I was still exercising and doing things. But last week, last week I was very stressed and I didn't really have that outlet of exercising like I had wanted to because there was a lot of things to do at work. Um, right now I'm just with work there's a lot of stuff that's going on with work where I'm like oh my gosh what the heck is going on um the week before something happened I wasn't checking and I assumed that because I assumed that because my coworker had done this one thing everything was good it wasn't so as a result shit blew up in my face and I got talked to for that and then I got talked to again after um I got I got talked to for something else that I had done and then there was something else and it was like oh my gosh three things in a week and my manager was like what's you know it's three times in a week what the hell and I'm like I don't know like the first one I should have looked the second one I had looked at the actual thing and made sure everything was good everything looked good and again blew up because for whatever reason something changed on a list after I had looked at it and a co-worker looked at it both of us stayed away from the list don't know what happened um so this is Weight Watchers for this week March 4th to the 10th which is um six goals for success I have this actual thing yeah that's part of my room um I have this awesome thing that I'm going through um, this is just really my success journal. At first it started as a regular journal and then it just became success. I put in here, for example, why I want to exercise or, you know, why do I overeat and all these different things that I wrote down. And I'm just, I'm kind of stressed. I'm very stressed. And it's weird because last week they were like, if you're stressed, you know, say, ask yourself, why am I stressed? Why is everything going on? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm trying, I'm trying, but it's just these little other factors. I emailed my landlord about moving. So now I'm trying to find a new apartment. Um, my contract ends um, in August for that. And then some other stuff in May that I'm trying not to worry about. But I got some stuff that's going on like May 1st or whatever. So that'll be interesting. And um, I don't know. I'm getting antsy. I don't like Madison. I thought I could make myself love it. I really don't like the city. There's a lot of passive aggressiveness. I mean, in the Midwest, period, there's there's a lot of it. Anyway, I'm just trying to make this short because I'm just irritated. I'm really irritated and pissed off right now. And um, I'm trying to be happy and nice, but I'm just, I'm irritated. Also, add to the fact that I gave up sugar last week. And I was trying to wean myself off, so I got the sugar detox book. And I don't even know why I'm getting upset right now with you, because you have nothing to do with it. I'm just irritated, because I've taken sugar off, and now I'm just left. And usually, I would have something sugary, and I don't. So I'm drinking my fucking coffee that has three tablespoons of coffee string. I'm sorry. Of coffee, mate. And it's... It, it is what it is, you know. I used to do I used to do a cup of coffee creamer for three cups of coffee. I shit you not. That's what I did when I was fourteen. 
and drinking coffee until I went to Weight Watchers. And I went to Weight Watchers when I go to Weight Watchers. Um, the first time I went to Weight Watchers, which was 2012. So for seven years, I had been drinking coffee with, yeah, I've been doing that. Um, so that's right now where I'm just like, didn't get a lot of sleep as well. So right now I'm just, and that's my fear because I know if I don't have sugar and the fact that I didn't get enough sleep means I'm very irritable right now and I don't want to blow up on people and there's one person that it will fucking blow up if if one thing is said I know two people two people I know if one thing is said to me I'm just gonna be like fuck you fuck you you <sighs> she's take the wheel I need to I need I, and I can't I can't take a nap because I got to get ready for work yeah and that's what's going on right now I just mm, and I'm trying to be positive and you know this is a new week but I have, I'm, again, I've not been sleeping. I have a from hell. I just, and I even talked about it at the meeting. I said, you know, if I try to shower, there's, there's hair in the fucking tub. How possible? I mean, you could just, if, and I realize that I'm living with some people who don't give a fuck about other people. So I'm constantly cleaning up after people. Like, I will go downstairs, table has dried on food on it. It's got something I don't know. People are using a sink that doesn't have the trash compactor. No, that's on the other sink. But they all use that one. And then they've got like, like noodles just swimming in the sink. So then my other roommate, Ron, poor thing, has to go and clean it out. Because there's a smell coming out of it. It's not his fucking job to do it, but that's what he's doing. He's got to do that. The other assholes who do it don't fucking do it. Or people that that wash the dishes and leave them in the fucking sink. Why are you leaving them in a dirty sink? You've got chai. You've got what looks like dried vomit and other stuff in the sink. I know it's not vomit. It's one of those health food crap things. But it looks like vomit to me. I'm just saying it now. You've got all that dried stuff in there. People, you know, I think, I think... I think Aaron is the one who's cleaning out the sink on that side. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure he is. Every one of us is trying to do stuff, but it seems like there are maybe two people who will not clean to save their lives. I don't understand it. So that's what's going on right now and this week and next week. And I'm trying to be positive, but you realize it's, it's not really happening right now. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to leave now.